everybody. My name is Jessica Wooten, and I collaborated with Jennifer Murphy on Margaret Newman's theory. And Jennifer picked out a nice article that she summarized in the wiki. It's called Health of Expanding Consciousness, Implications for Health Policy as Praxis. And what I did is in the article, um, we as nurses, we recognize issues in the health systems through the communities. And these are ways that you can guide to use to incorporate policies, health policies for the community. And it is health is expanding consciousness policy protocol, which is incorporated with humanistic health policy concepts. It's on page 284 of the article, which we did reference in the wiki. And there are eight parts that I'm going to talk about. So the first one is community and nursing awareness of a health problem, concern, or issue. So if there's an issue brought about in a community, there are ways that we can try to help bring about a better system or education for them, uh, such as raising awareness to the community, educating on prevention and promotion of healthier lifestyles, developing programs for the community. Uh, for example, some free healthcare screenings, um, speakers that come into the schools that educate the children uh, or younger adults for healthier lifestyles, and community days such as education, uh, free blood pressure checks, uh, the second one was nursing and community stakeholders establish a mutuality. And a stakeholder can be a patient, a provider, a payer, or an employer. And they are very vital in guiding through with the health policy. So involving stakeholders during every aspect of a program or policy helps decrease cost and budgeting, diagnosis and therapy, interventions with health outcomes, compassionate care, great with skills and communication, help build these guidelines. The third one is ask stakeholders what is meaningful to them, concurrently research background of the issue. So if our community has multiple issues, chronic diseases, that we find something that's very vital, that it affects the community as a whole, we're gonna look at it that way. So. What happens is we're going to identify the issue in the environment. This information comes from the community, like I said before, and this will help start our research on what we can do to help the community. The fourth one is to transcribe what is stated as meaningful, develop a chronological narrative, noting pattern shifts, transmute this as a pattern diagram. So I feel that it's very important to hear from the community, deliberate with the public. When they are pattern shifts in the chronological narrative, other research may be needed. So we may have to look elsewhere in the records uh, to help attain more data and understanding the issue. Using a diagram will help keep everything in order and to see if we're missing anything. The fifth one, States to share the diagram with stakeholders for validation, changes, or clarification. It's important to hear from the community, deliberating with the public. Uh, I feel that by, like I said before, by keeping the shareholder or stakeholders involved in the process will not only gain trust but help with partnerships in the community. This can also implement this can also help with implementing policies and decisions. Becoming influential with the community they are involved in is key. So the sixth one is nurses and stakeholders mutuality reflect on the diagram. Note evidence of pattern recognition. So relationships between the nurse and the stakeholder provides better opportunities to help increase societal needs, which help provide long-term sustainability. The seventh one is, as a pattern recognition occurs, action potential for transformative policy options emerge. So this is beneficial for the nurse, the stakeholder, and the community. Coming up with goals that need to be reached, positive effects that need to be met for the community needs. And the last one would be create meaningful policy action plans, position paper, and recommendations based on pattern recognition insight and research information and move to decision making bodies. So I feel that building a policy is a very difficult task. I feel that it takes a village to help. 
I feel that it's not one-sided. There are many factors to take into account. The data from the research, reviewing all the information from the diagram, implementing actions and goals. The action plans will reflect whether the outcome is reflected by the goals that need to be met to create the policy. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you've learned something. Thank you.